G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now this one's targeted at all of you that are running projects, project managers or the like uh, using SharePoint sites or even Microsoft Teams for that matter. With the addition of uh, Microsoft Lists that's rolling out currently, it makes it really easy for you to be able to add a common thing uh, in project sites, and that is the issues register. So you can see on the screen here, uh, I've got the new icon for lists. I'm just gonna click on this lists icon here. You can see there's some pre-existing lists that I've got um, that, have, uh, that I've used recently, and I'm gonna create a new list. So let's click on new list, and you can see here that I've got a list of templates that I can choose from. The first one here is issues tracker. All right, and you can see here that what it gives me is a preview of what is going to be provisioned. I'm gonna click use this template. I'm just gonna change the color to purple and I'll choose a different icon. Now, instead of choosing my lists to save it to, I'm gonna add it to an existing site and I'm gonna add it to this 365 project site. Um, and I'm just gonna give, let's just give it a new name for uh, 365 project issue list and we'll leave this option ticked and we'll create that. Once that's been created, you can see it's nice and quick to provision. You'll notice in the URL that it's actually been provisioned as part of the SharePoint site, okay? So if I jump over to the SharePoint site now and I refresh this page, what we'll see in the navigation on the left is we've now got this issues list that's now part of the site and I can interact with it, add new items, edit new, uh, edit existing items, etc., as I normally would. So let's go ahead and add this item and we'll just give it some default, uh, default values here. Uh, let's just give it issue 101. We'll give it here or well, let's just set it a, give it a priority. It's a new personal group the issue is assigned to. Let's give it to the support account. Um, we'll choose today's date um, that it was reported on. We won't worry about the source. It was logged by me and we'll go ahead and save that. So you can see here that what comes with this list is, is some column formatting or automatically for us, okay? Now, I'm just gonna close this down uh, here and I'm just gonna jump back onto the lists homepage here. So you can see here that that is now part of my lists dashboard. And when I click on this list, it's gonna open up into the lists experience, but I can still interact with that list from uh, from the SharePoint site as well. Now, if I'm in Microsoft Teams, same thing, I can add this uh, list as a tab inside of Microsoft Teams. And, what I, uh, and that's going to then give me um, you know, that, that list as a tab. So what I'll do is I'll just jump over to this browser window and I'll open up, um, I'll open up that project site and let's drag this across. And what we might do is let's add this list to my channel. So we're going to choose SharePoint. And we're going to now choose, I'll untick this, and let's now choose the list that was the 365 Project Issues list, and we'll save that. So we've now got the list as a tab inside of Microsoft Teams. I can go directly into SharePoint. So I've now really got three different ways that I can access that list. Directly through the, uh, the lists application, in the SharePoint site, and now also I've just added that to the Microsoft team that's associated there. So for all of you project managers, if you need an issues list or an issues register as part of an existing site, the new Microsoft Lists application is a great way to get you up and running really, really quickly. You can add it to an existing SharePoint site. Hope that brings you some value. See you in the next episode.